Chilling with Big Deuce. Let's do this. Leaders of the NBA guys are electrifying. Tatum drives down and throws it down. Wow. That's why they keep jacking. Keep on jacking. I ain't doing no verse. Quit asking. Jason Tatum. It's amazing how things are shifting and they're dangerous every night. I believe the game is in good hands. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. Dudes. We're going to basketball practice, all right? Deuce. Yes? How many buckets are you going to get today? Um, 50. 50? Daddy got 50 buckets the other day. You short or you skip some numbers, but we close. What, what do you? What have you learned at basketball practice? Well, I learned how to get buckets, and I learned how to dribble, and that's the things I do. But I don't remember what else I do. I tell you a little bit about my son, Deuce. He is a. Uh, he is a star in his own right, uh, and uh, something that I, you know, never expected. Got an exciting week coming up with the NBA draft back in the Big Apple. Just two days till we find out who the top picks will be. Uh, it's Jason Tatum here at draft week. Uh, excited for Thursday. It's been a long process and just ready uh, to hear my name called. You know, I found out I was having a kid at 19. I was a little selfish because uh, I was 19 and I was finally going to get drafted. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know, you know, how it would be. So I'd be lying if I said, you know, I was super excited about becoming a dad. And I've wanted to be an NBA player ever since I was four, ever since I can remember only thinking about myself and um, you know finally reaching my goals uh, my first dreams of playing in the NBA was three or four years old you know when I first saw Kobe Bryant play you know that's that's who I wanted to be you know I guess subconsciously I thought that you know this might interfere or affect you know what I was trying to do and honestly it wasn't until he was born and I picked him up that, uh, you know, my whole mindset changed. And as cliche as it sounds, it's the truth. I wasn't, I wasn't excited until he was born. It was like, damn, you know, this is like my responsibility. But once you have a child, it's like, you know, there's nothing I wouldn't do for him. And I think, you know, you don't understand that type of love until you have a child. You ready? Yes. I see a lot of myself in him. I am that kid from St. Louis that made my dreams come true. Growing up as a kid, you know, my dad was the first person to put the ball in my hand. Back when he played, he felt like, you know, never really got a chance to develop. So, you know, his priority with me was, uh, you know, making sure I was able to, you know, handle the ball, able to shoot, able to run, pick and roll, being able to score from all three levels. Hi, my name is Jason Tatum. And one reason I came to Shaman Island was because of sports, mainly basketball. That, you know, kind of set the blueprint, you know, from waking up at 5.30 in the morning in high school, going to work out before class, you know, practicing and then working out after. You know, I always had the mindset that there was some kid somewhere, you know, working out while I was asleep. And I never wanted that to be a reason why my dreams didn't work. The Boston Celtics select Jason Tatum. Very proud of 
about his young man, Jason Tatum, here. I'm his dad, Justin, all the way from St. Louis. Hard work, man. It pays off. Even to this day, I pride myself on being the last one to leave practice, being the last one to leave shoot around. You know, lifting, getting treatment, doing whatever after games. Uh, even though I might not be the most vocal person, just trying to lead by example and you know, maximize my talents that I was blessed with. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Tatum, my God. I just love everything about the kid. He's just built for, for stardom. Boston are very lucky to have him. You know, the people here are great, and uh, I'm a part of it now. Boston has a special place in my heart. I've grown up in Boston. You know, I've lived here for six years. You know, my son was born here. Bought my first car in Boston. I bought my first house. It will always, like, you know, be a special, special place. Boston accepted a 19-year-old kid and watched him grow up. My dreams have, have come true, and I'm still, you know, kind of writing my dreams and my legacy. There's a reason why he's in the MVP discussion. There he is. Let's go. We got him? Here we go, here we go. Al, you're right here. JT, you're in the corner. Jalen, you're in the slot. Last year's finals was tough. We had a great season. All things considered, the way we started, how we turned it around. And the Boston Celtics will go to the NBA Play some great teams, getting to the finals. Had to really, you know, go through some tough, tough teams, some great players. Tatum one on one with Wiggins, gets into the paint, blocked by Wiggins. Give them credit, right? You know, they were the better team at the time. You know, they were more mentally sharp and tougher. Back to Curry, step back, three pointer. Bang! Step Curry drills the three. Uh, which is kind of tough to acknowledge, but it's the truth. The Golden State Warriors are NBA champions. It made the summer kind of difficult. You know, it's it's just tough. Um, you know, getting to this point and not accomplishing what we wanted to. Um, it hurts. Physically, it's draining. Mentally, is. You know, exhausting. Everybody is coming up and saying, you know, next year or, you know, you did a good job. And it's just like constant reminder of like you lost. You lost, you lost, you lost. Big day today. But, you know, I think it fueled everybody on our team that, you know, everybody, I feel like got better. Everybody worked a little bit harder this summer. Because we, we realized how hard it was to get there, how it's not a given that you're going to get back. And that, that was like the worst feeling ever, losing in the championship. Now go, hit, 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 yes, yes, that's the contest we need. Great, great. Great job, great job. Here, let me tell you shoot. So we just gonna play basketball all day, huh? Dribble, don't travel. You ain't mean to do that. You ain't mean to do that. It's funny because it is, I guess, publicized or talked about of how, I guess, good of a dad I am. And honestly, I just kind of feel like, you know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, oh excuse me. And one, my parents were a lot tougher on me. Um, and it worked, obviously, you know, I'm glad they worked. But I think right now, I'm just trying to like, show him some things, but not trying to like, push it on him. If he wants to play, he wants to play. If not, we can do other things. He's made me mature um, a lot faster than I think most 19 year olds would. When we come outside, you like to go swimming, play basketball. Oh, get in the sandbox. Which one do you like the most? Um, get basket. Get in buckets. Buckets. Hey, don't. I'm going to try to put in here. 
early on, you know, teammates would be like after a game or something like, yo, let's go out tonight. And I would be like, I got my son tonight, I can't. And at 19, you know, nobody else was was doing that. And uh, and it was like, it, it wasn't like I was sacrificing. It was, no, I, I want to go, you know, play with Deuce. Six. You better than me? No. Ah, uh, yeah, just making sure. Knowing how I feel about, you know, my parents, especially my mom, knowing how close we are, um, how I viewed her growing up as it was like she was a superwoman that, you know, any question I ever had, she knew the answer. Anything I ever needed, she knew how to get it. Knowing how I felt about my mom, I wanted him to feel the same way about me. My mom always reminds me that, you know, be the best role model I can for him because, you know, he wants to be like me. That day that he was born, you know, December 6, 2017, I kind of made a conscious decision of like, you know, I wasn't going to sacrifice being a, the best parent or the best basketball player. Still accomplishing things, you know, in my career and on the court while still, you know, being the best parent. I step on the court, I feel like I'm the best player on the court regardless of who we're playing. A six foot nine athletic wing that can do it all. And greetings from Bean Town. And we have a finals rematch. The Golden State Warriors and the Boston Celtics winners of but The thing about this team that's so special is sacrifice. Everybody's attitude, right? You know, everybody is still showing up every day, showing up with a great attitude, you know, rooting for one another. You know, everybody has that mindset of team, team, team. We're not wasting any time. We're not wasting the season. We're going to figure it out. Winning is most important, and winning brings the most joy. And, you know, people remember people that win. You know, what you play for a legacy, to be remembered, to inspire the next, you know, generation of Jason Tatum that are watching me play now. Tatum, sidestep three. Yeah. I'm proud of you that fight, man. Oh, man, I was, uh, be down the whole game, come back like that, uh, especially in overtime, you know, against a tough-minded, physical, great team. Take it every day of the week. Charge. Charge. Hey, man, no free throws, Gallo! Deuce has given me so much <laughs> happiness. And he puts things in perspective. He doesn't care about how many points I scored, didn't score, right? To him, I'm the most amazing person in the world, regardless of what I do on the court. For those days that are tough at work or you come back from a road trip that wasn't, it didn't go as planned. All he wants to do is worry about what time am I coming home? You know, are we gonna eat breakfast together? Can we go outside and get buckets? And in those moments, you realize, like, whatever you're going through, 
isn't that important. You know, this is what is most important. It, it truly does bring me more joy than, than anything else.